Well, hey family, this is Darlene. Wanted to thank you for stopping by the Jury by BDK YouTube channel. I know you didn't come here for a sermon. <laughs> so here's the video. And we'll, well, hey family, happy Wednesday. Uh, this is Darlene stopping by real quick. I am sitting here making some necklaces, just some real simple, easy necklaces. I wrapped 25 millimeter hand painted bead with some 15 gauge aluminum wire. And then I'm just hanging them on these, I believe it's, they're nylon cords. So on some nylon cords, just making some real simple um, necklaces that I'm going to put on uh, the different websites. So we're going to do these real quick. And I got a couple more already made. There is a video, I believe, showing how I wrap these um how I wrap these beads. So I hand paint them first, the 25 millimeter bead, and then I uh, wrap them with that 15 gauge wire. So just real simple. I had to make some more jump rings too. So they're different sizes. And all I'm doing is taking my custom jump rings and taking these uh, 25 millimeter hand painted beads and I'm gonna just put, find somewhere to put the, Put the jump ring, close that off all nice and sweet. And I got about a hundred of these um, cords I ordered off of Amazon. Um, I don't know if I like these a lot. I was working with them and one of them came apart and, and I wasn't even pulling on it a lot. So this little part right here came off. So I don't know if I could maybe put a dab of crazy glue or something to secure it a little bit more because I hate for people to buy something, you know, and then it, it comes apart. I can't stand that stuff. I mean, that's the only drawback about buying the, the cords that already have the closures on the end, you know, not really knowing if they're going to come apart or not on people. So that's, you know, one of the, the drawbacks. And then for me, I usually don't make it a nice expensive piece. I make it a, you know, inexpensive piece. So if something does come apart, you know, people won't feel like they've been robbed, right? So that's what I'm doing here. Also, on in the Jury by BDK Creator Zone, there's some information about the, um, it's called the National Small Business Week Two-Day Virtual Summit. Um, it's being hosted by SCORE, and it is, um, it's a two-day event. It is free to attend. However, you do have to register. They have, like, educational webinars on business. They have exhibit booths you can see. They have free business resources. Um, they got like multiple peer-to-peer -peer networking rooms that you can go from room to room. Um, you can ask business questions. They got expert business advice from SCORE uh, mentors and representatives. And it's a two-day event. So um, if, you, if you're curious about business or wanting to start business or you got questions about business, like anything that has to do with business, it's a really cool virtual um, event for you to participate in. And it's for two days. Um, let me see. I think it starts April 30th through May the 1st. Oh, my goodness. What time is from, I want to say 11, 11 to 6 or 8 to 3 or something like that. But if you go on to the um, Facebook and then going to the Jury by BDK Creator Zone, I did put some information in there. So just click on the link to register and just kind of read all about it. I mean, it's a really good, I, I uh, attended last year. I will attend this year. My whole thing is I don't care what information you got yesterday, more than likely that information changed overnight. That's how fast information changes. So for me, I'm forever doing a workshop. I'm forever doing a training. I'm forever somewhere learning about something. Um, I don't care what it is. Yesterday, there was, um, I attended a training and it was on branding. So the young, the young lady did a really good job as far as like, for me, it was a refresher. Like everything she talked about, I literally already knew. And some of the things that I know she didn't even touch on. So I don't know if she didn't touch on them. Not saying she didn't know, but I'm just saying um, she did a really good job. And for me, it was a refresher. And it's always good to hear, oh, okay, well, I'm still up to date on things pretty much, right? So it was a really good, really good little training. It lasted about an hour. 
And um, I think they're supposed to email us the, the recording or something. I'm going to check my email this morning and see if uh, something has come through. So it's, it's a lot going on. So you always want to stay on top of, if you're not already, which you guys probably are, you always want to stay on top of that information, especially if it's free information, because a lot of the free information sometimes is better than the paid information, if you ask me, because I do pay for, um, you know, a lot of trainings and workshops and that type of stuff. And then sometime you'd be like, and I actually paid my money for this. And then there are times with free ones, you'd be like, man, this was really good. They could have charged for this, you know, but uh, be thinking, thank God they didn't. But, you know, sometimes. It's good stuff. So um, that link is in the on that uh, on the page, the Jury by BDK Creator Zone. Um, and if you need can't find it or you're not on Facebook or something like that, you can email me at jurybybdk at gmail.com, jurybybdk at gmail.com, and I can um, I'll email the information over to you. So all I'm doing is making these because I'm going to add these to my inventory. And all they are is the hand painted beads that's covered. And you can see how adorable they look as necklaces. Nice, simple, easy, you know, a very nice uh, conversation piece. So that's what we're doing. Some nice, simple pieces. And once you get the the B part done, it's all, you know, downhill, uphill from there because you're just basically putting the cord on and keeping it moving. I don't think I'm going to make a hundred of them, though. I think I'm going to make uh, as many as I feel like making. So I don't I don't know how many it'll be. But yeah, that's some that's a really good, you know, resource that uh, National Small Business Week two day virtual event. And the good thing is it's online. So that means anybody can access it that's online. So that, that's really good stuff. And it is worth your time. It's a free work. It's free for the two days. You know, that's the that's the great thing about it. Really good information, no cost. And then learn everything that you can learn, as much as you can learn about business, if that's what you're trying to do. Because um, I talked to enough people that are, um, you know, like really trying to make what they're doing as far as their jewelry, a business, you know, and that, that makes sense, a sustainable business, you know, where you literally have income coming in from it and it's doable. You know, you just have to consider all, all angles, like any way, every way, how can it become digital products? Can I sell pictures for my product? Can I sell the product? Can I sell supplies? Can I, you know, you just got to kind of figure it out. Can I sell myself? In a sense, to in the sense of information, can I, you know, and it's like, can I make something that I could sell in a sense of supplies and that type of thing? So you got to think about that, and if you think about it and cover it all, chances are you're gonna come up with, you know, like something else. Like, man, I could do this and earn a little extra income on the side right here, outside of jury. And I ask that all the time. If you can't sell your jury, how else can you make income? from what it is that you do. And I know a lot of times I'll be pushing, I'll be pushing YouTube and I push YouTube because I, I reap the benefits from it. So I pretty much already know, and you guys already know, I'm, I'm fairly, why well, I'm not new, new no more as far as making beaded jewelry, but I'm still fairly new um, making beaded jewelry. And then my whole thing is how many different directions can I go in to, um, to create some type of sustainable income from what it is that I'm doing. So for me, it's like, I, I don't ever want to put my time into something and I'm not benefiting from it. And God knows how many different ways I could benefit from it. Right. So my mind is always going in different directions. And I'm thinking that's only because I probably, I come from a business background and I think that's why I kind of have the advantage um, in a different, in different places. And that's not a knock to anybody. Um, I was having a conversation with one of the brothers at uh, my congregation, and he was trying to copy some papers. And that man couldn't figure that that printer that printer out, but not printer, but the the copier out for nothing. And I said, "Well, you need some help." And he said, "Yeah, because I'm not really sure how to do this." So, and it's just simple as you know, putting the paper in the top and pressing the button so it'll 
go through and then select double side and that kind of stuff. But he's a he was a he's a retired fireman. So he was saying, man, I just feel so stupid. And I was like, well, no, you shouldn't feel stupid because this is not something that you do every day. And if it's not something that you do every day, it's never been a part of your job. It's never been a part of your life, meaning something that you have to do daily to where you got this down to a science. You should never feel stupid about that because it's not something that you do. And then I said to him, I guarantee you and other things, you're brilliant. I can't run into a house and save somebody if the house is on fire. Yet you can. You know everything to do. You know the steps to take. You know the process. You know what to do, what not to do, and all that type of stuff. So in that situation, you're brilliant, right? I know nothing about that, but I'm not going to think I'm stupid because I can't do it. It's just that is not something that I'm experiencing, and that's all there is or ain't no more. Um, and so it goes when it comes to business. A lot of people are not, um, you know, may not have been a part of the business world, and that's okay. You know, that's why there's workshops and trainings and classes and like all these type of things that we all need to take advantage of um, because you could have a business degree, you can have business background and all that kind of stuff. But I guarantee you the information is changing like every day, more and more and more and more. And that's why I try to stay on top of things. You know, I'll be, I'll be in these little trainers. I'll be playing with them. I'm in it. I'm learning. And then there's a lot of stuff that I don't know. Be like, man, what, when did they change that up? Right. But if I'm not a part of the trainings and the workshops that they're offering, I would never know that. And believe me, I'll be paying money for trainings and stuff too, because I want to know, I need to know, and I'm trying to scale the jury by BDK business to a point where um, it's literally sustainable. And it's something that's our, it's set up where systems are set up to where, you know, my son can take it. He don't have to be able to make jury. He can pay people to make jury, but the idea is to set up systems you know, on platforms to where the income just comes in and he really, he don't have to do anything but sit back and, and, <laughs> and collect. Basically, that's my thought. That's my strategy. And then that's what I'm doing. So if I make what I'm making, that's like YouTube. YouTube videos are evergreen. That means they more than likely will never, ever go away. If anything, YouTube is just going to keep growing and growing and growing and growing and growing to the point people are not going to have TVs. Everything is basically like it kind of like it is now online and on people's phone. So people always want something to watch. People are going to always be wanting to learn something. People are going to always be looking for something different. I mean, that's why I say that too. Like with the jury, somebody has said something about not being sure how to match the colors. Like as she, because I was watching her video and she was making, I want to say some keychains. I think she was making some keychains and she was using um, some beads on there. And she was saying she was not really sure about how to coordinate the beads, how to match the colors and, and that type of thing. Um, but as she's putting the beads on, the color coordination to me was like perfect. And then that's the thing. We just have to live in whatever our creativity shows us to do. And I think many times because we've seen somebody else create something and match colors and do that type of stuff that maybe, oh, this is how the colors are supposed to be. No, they're not. Remember, there are no rules when we're doing this type of stuff. So when you're sitting and you happen to put a clear bead and a pink bead and a yellow bead together, right, and it looks good to you, that is all that matters. It don't matter what I, me, you, or the next person um or the next person thinks about it. We all have different color coordination. We all have different, our mind creativity is different and that's all there is, there ain't no more. So that is what makes your pieces different than the next person's. Cause we could all have the same exact beads. And I guarantee you, if you put 20 of us in a room and then put us in a, in a space that's isolated and when it's all done and over with, we all come with the pieces that we created I guarantee you every last one of them will be different because every last one of our minds are different. Our creativity is different. The way we think is different. The way we see is different. So just lean into whatever that is that, you know, that produces like whatever that is, that's your creative place. Live there and just enhance that. That's all there is or ain't no more. Remember you're creating, there's no rules. There's no rules to your creativity. It's like, no, I'm making this. I'm going to wrap some beads with some wire. I'm going to do me. I'm going to make some wire beads. I'm going to do me. And then that's the whole thing. Just live in your space of creativity. That's your space. 
right? Don't think, oh, well, this don't look like something else or that don't, nobody cares that it don't look like, you don't want it to look like nobody else's. <laughs> you want it to look like yours. And I think that therein has been the problem. Everybody sees what somebody else is making and somebody else may be earning some type of income from it. So immediately everybody wants to do what they see. It's like, no, live in your creativity, make it work for you, keep it moving. And I guarantee you, just like the woman in the book of Proverbs, she saw that her merchandise was good and she took it to the market. And what did she do? She sold it to the merchants. That's what she did. She saw that her merchandise was good. She took it to the merchants and she sold it. That's a wholesaler. That's basically a wholesaler. When you take it to the merchant, she took it to the merchants at the market and sold it. So merchants are people that are already selling, as you know. And when <clears throat> this woman took what she was making with her hands to the merchants at the market, those those people were those were retailers that she took that product to. They bought it from her. She was selling wholesale. So if you want to sell wholesale, that's a good thing to get into. And if not, you know, however you want to do what you want to do is good stuff. And if you're just creating just because you it's relaxing to you, it's what you like to do. That's good stuff, too. Nobody is knocking that. I'm not knocking that at all. So if that's what you want to do. That's what you like to do. That's good stuff. You know, that's good stuff. Nobody is mad at you about that at all. However, if um, anybody want to tap into that uh, to that uh, virtual summit, April 30th through May the 1st, the link and all the information is in the Jury by BDK Creators on Facebook uh, group. Also, new subscribers want to thank you for joining us, um, for watching the videos and then saying, hey, you know what? I like what I see. I appreciate the video. Let me go ahead and subscribe and then hit that like button, hit that um, that bell. So then that way you'll be notified each time I upload a new video, which is often, pretty often. But anyway, I'm a little talkative. Y'all came for a sermon, so you got one. And then guess what? We'll talk.